Um, when we receive a wild animal in the hospital, the first thing that we are trying to do is find out what the condition of the animal is. Uh, we will observe the animal first without actually touching it, so we can see its behavior, see how the condition is, um, if we can see anything abnormal. Um, after that we will try and figure out what exactly the problem is, so we will take the animal, um, we will weigh her, so after weighing we have um, the possibility of tracking her uh, condition, if it's improving or deteriorating. Um, other than that, we will also further examine the animal at that point. Um, we have to figure out if she has any kind of wounds, if she has any kind of infection. So we'll just do like a basic examination of her. Um, depending on the outcome, we will start the treatment for her and she will stay in the hospital for a couple of days or for multiple months, depending on what the problem is with the animal. So today we received a cypress spiny mouse in the hospital. Um, we noticed immediately that it had a very big wound on the left side of its face. Um, we first tried and see what the behavior of the animal was, if it was very active, very lethargic. Um, we realized that the condition wasn't very good from the beginning. Um, so then we cap captured the animal to see how the animal was doing, how big the wound was. Uh, we examined the wound to check um, which tissues were damaged. We have to check if any nerves or anything are damaged from that wound, so we can see if the animal is still able to eat, if it's able to feel anything. During our examination, we also noticed that the animal had a problem with the left eye. Um, most likely the left eye, it's not able to see anymore from the left eye. Um, after assessing the condition of the animal, we started the treatment um, for the wound. It means that we clean the wound with iodine, so there is, um, the wound is very clean, it's not infected with any bacteria. We can keep the wound sterile. Um, for the eye, we cleaned it with some serum, um, just to keep it clean as well, so it cannot become infected. Um, this wound was quite deep, it was, um, the skin was completely ripped open, uh, so we decided to clean it very proper, like very thoroughly. And then we applied some creams with antibiotic properties, um, just to help make sure that it doesn't become infected later on. Um, afterwards, we also noticed that the um, animal was dehydrated. With most of these animals, this is the case. So we ended up giving her some fluids subcutaneously with some dextrose just to help her in the first days and the first hours at the hospital. Um, other than that, we also weighed the animal. Um, it was the weight, the condition was quite good. Um, but from now on, we can actually see if she is losing any weight or which she is gaining weight, which is for us a very important measurement to know and see how the animal is doing, if she is able to eat or not. So for the next couple of days, we will keep her in an ICU unit, intensive care unit, where we can control the temperature and we will see how the condition is. We will keep treating and cleaning the wound daily and then hopefully she will improve and we can release her again.